everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining our, what we call our Survivor Series today. You say, Tony, what's a Survivor? Well, I think all of us are a little bit of Survivor somewhere or another, but this right here is what we're talking about. We're talking about a 280ZX, which has become, if you kind of grew up in this era, this was a pretty phenomenal sports car, right? The 240Z starting out. My grandfather bought one of those in 1970, kind of, uh, uh, the beginning of the car bug for me as well in the late 60s or 70s, but these got even nicer and nicer. People are all over the all over the map on what they feel is the right Z, right? Is the 240Z better? Is the 260Z unloved? Is the 280Z a much better car? Is the 280ZX uh, performance and luxury, right? In the, in my opinion, they're all great, right? You can't go wrong. It's about what you grew up with what you remember and what you want to get. In the case of this car here, this is what I would refer to as a collector car. And why do I say that? Well, because we've electronically metered this car and almost all the paint on the car is original. The interior is original. The, uh, all of the accoutrements inside, under the hood, like just wearable items have been uh, replaced. And we're talking about a car that's been driven right around a thousand miles a year. A thousand miles a year, right? This is a real car. This hasn't had the odometer rolled back. This has been garage kept its entire life, uh, family owned. It's got great history. We know lots about it. We're gonna spend some time walking around. And I think that once you see all the stuff that's on here, you're gonna need to find a way to get it in your garage. All right, so this is an electronic paint meter. What it does is measures millionths of an inch thick. And why do we use this? Well, we wanna authenticate whether things are original or not. So how does it work? Well, while it measures the thickness of paint, what it does is this. Let's say you had a, a scratch on your car and you needed to get it painted and then clear coated and whatever. That's not really bad. However, we're trying to show what's original and what's not. And what this does is a body shop wants to fix it and they want it to make it look nice. They don't really care about how thick it is. However, when the car was new and went down the assembly line, it was painted by robots and it was all kind of the same thickness within say five millionths of an inch thick. Uh, all around the whole car. You're like, wow, that's pretty cool. And that's why we use this right here. So I like to kind of show how it works, right? It shows 4.0 there and it shows 5.5 .5 there, which is not uncommon to have those variables of that stuff all around the whole car, right? So we got all that, but then we went ahead and we did something called uh, paint resurrection, right? We resurrected the paint uh, and we call that, uh, it'll come to me in just a second, I completely forgot to skip my name, uh, paint correction, sorry, paint correction. Anyway, we had spent the money on this to have the paint corrected because it really hadn't been done. So we have this really lustrous factory paint now that looks probably better than it did uh, circa 1980s. But here, I want you to see, look at, when I say mirror finish on a car, this is what I mean by that. Where you can see every single letter nice and crisp, and if it looks good in the video, right, that's important. Why is that important? Because photos can be doctored, man. You can make photos do whatever they want. The video doesn't lie. It shows us that we have a nice shiny car. It shows us that it would be great to show or drive and enjoy. And it is really, really that nice. All right, so I'd like to peek under here for a couple reasons, and I'll tell you why. We have two kinds of clients that come here. Ones that just want to get a cool car and drive it. They don't really care what's under the hood or whatever. They just want to enjoy the car. Others would like to maybe show the car right, and know the details and technical stuff about them, and that's the part that we're gonna work on for just a moment. Even if you don't wanna look under the hood, the simple fact is it looks amazing under the hood, and why do I wanna say that to you? Well, because when you're buying an original car with low miles and things like that, the more authentic and original it is, the more value it has over time, right? There, you can always restore a car, but it's only original once, all right? So for instance, like this here, the air cleaner decals are still here these emissions and timing decals are still here. Why is that a big deal? Well, you can't buy those decals, right? This is all kind of showing you how original all of this is in here. The fuel injection made a huge difference of, on the, in here versus the carbureted cars. And then throw in some nice stuff like air conditioning. Uh, and once we get inside, we'll see all those nice features that are in there too. But you still get the four wheel independent suspension, four wheel disc brakes, uh, that close ratio five speed transmission. And it's just a smooth, sound good kind of car. And uh, if you decide that you wanna buy a sport exhaust for it, it sounds even better. Anyway, just wanted you to see all this in here. It's beautifully done. And while the pictures look great, uh, video shows us like all the different colors that are still in place, you know, 40 and, and yeah, 40 years later, wow. All right, so this car, as while it's changed over time from the 70s to the 80s, it's still identifiable. Most everybody in the world knows, even if you took this emblem off the back, everybody knows this is a Z car, right? But what they do love about it is they also made it very functional, 
Okay, so let's talk about that for a second because this was the, the wave of hatchbacks and what have you. I also like to talk about the good and the bad of cars. For instance, uh, because this car is so original, it has a lot of original parts. These struts are original, right? Uh, and date coded. However, it needs new ones. So what I was thinking was we can either leave them on and you can tell people that they're original or we can replace them and you can keep them. We'll send it with the car when you get it, all right? Inside here is the original storage bags for the T-tops. The T-tops are in here. The T-tops also have sun shades that go inside the T-tops in case you don't want the sun to be too much depending on the climate that you live in, which is really nice. This has always had a front end bra on it. Why is that a big deal? Well, that's why it doesn't have all the big chips and paint missing on the front of it uh, and beautiful. Factory original carpet, all of the stuff inside, the suede inside there still has a ZX as part of the, of the pattern that's in. I can't wait for us to get inside the interior too because it's really nice. My point is this, that you could go away for the weekend in this car, right? It's not just a two-seater sport car. This is a sports car that's functional. You put lots of luggage back here, maybe a case of wine if you went someplace and needed to pick up a case of wine. I'm not suggesting you do, but I might do that. Anyway, it's cool, it's fast, and it, and it works, uh, all that too. Boom. Why are these cars cool? Let's talk about that for a quick second. Like, you can drive this car to work on a Friday, right? You go to work on a Friday, you drive this cool car, you take it there, and you tell them, you tell your boss, like, listen, man, I'm gonna get out of here today at four if you don't mind, and you get in the car and whew, you shut off the feed. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna get in this car, and I'm gonna shut off the feed. And what do I mean by the feed? Well, I say that the, the social media feed, the boss feed, the email, text, all that electronic stuff coming at you and you're just like, ah, right? Call whoever it is that you're on the way home. I'm on my way, I'll see you in a little bit and shut it off, man, and put your own music on for a little bit, right? If you want to, you can do a couple great things, but let's talk about the interior of this car, the originality of it, and how spectacular it is, down to the original floor mats are still in the car. Original floor mats. Look at the condition of that floor mat right there. Back in the day, when cassette was here, right? Can you imagine getting some cassettes and getting that working? Has this incredible sound system, wide, stereo, mono, right? Um, all of this, all the graphic equalizer kind of built in here air conditioning, the full gauges with the three gauges set up there, just like the original 240Z was. This digital dash is super good looking when it's on. We're gonna turn that on, show you how that looks as well. Uh, showing 46,039 original miles, right? And this is 2024 that we're doing this video. It's 41 year old car. It's just amazing to me. Uh, it does have uh, electronic tack, gauges, all that good stuff that makes for a luxury car. Power windows, power mirrors, rear defroster, five speed that's nice and close ratio, right? T-tops that come out. This map light's kind of cool because it's very much airplane style. Anyway, all of this stuff is kind of, a, not kind of, this is all original, right? In an incredibly, incredibly kept like museum condition. And I think that you're gonna go back in time, you're gonna get in this thing, go for a drive, and it's gonna be like, wow, this is really, really nice. All right, so let's close up the video and run down the original museum quality that we have, even down to the original brochure for the car. Lots of service records come with it. Uh, this brochure is still in the plastic sleeve. Original uh, interior in here. We metered the car. We looked around. Mostly just the things that have been replaced are wearable items like brake pads, tires, and a battery. Almost all the rest of the car is completely original. It is really, really spectacular. It's as good looking as this video is making it good looking. And let me tell you, driving it is even better. It drives so smooth. The independent rear is nice when you shift, right? It squats a little bit when you get on the gas. It goes around the corners really well. And again, it's loaded with like the today's modern features. You know, we buy some older cars and we love them, but they're missing air conditioning. They're missing power steering. They're missing disc brakes. They're missing um, T-tops. They're missing a lot of things in old school cars. They're great looking, but here you can get the best of both worlds. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this uh, one family owned ZX. And if you don't mind, hit the like button down below. It helps us get the message out. Share it with your friends. They might like it as well. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We have new stuff coming out all the time. And I'll see you on the test drive.